who have taught us today. The test results. No, sir, which you had taught us today. This one. This one, same link. Always daily, same link only. You can go here also, you will find daily notes. Same link on this. I don't separate it. Why? Because of uh, people, uh, it's for you, it is very easy. Again, I'm sharing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Daily same notes on it is Google notes. Okay. Your PPTs, your separate, separate uh, PPTs are there, but one notes. So where you will find everything else. The entire document is one document. So we we'll discuss about uh, IPv4 and some points in IPv6. Okay. So IPv4 is a 32 bit and you will get a 4.3 billion IP addresses. It is in the digital form, it's a decimal format. It is divided to four parts separated by dot. Okay, four parts means 32 bit total size. So you divided by four means each part is eight bit, each called as a octet. So one octet size is maximum of 255. This is the total IPv4 address range. Okay. Range is 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 to 255.255.255. IP address range is divided into five classes. Okay. These are the five classes and ranges. Class A 0 to 127, Class B 128 to 191. Class C 192 to 223, Class D 224 to 239, Class E 240 to 255. Class E is a, a R&D type means it is not released into the public. It may be used in a, some cases or may be released in a future purpose. That is reserved for future purpose. Okay. And a Class D is a multicast address. It is the Class D IP addresses only used for a used by certain services only. and also we don't we cannot assign certain IP addresses to the devices like 0 series and 127 series 127.0.0.1 it is a reserved IP address for every PC has their own local host IP address every PC they have their own local IP address is 127.0.0.1. To recognize which class of IP address it is, check the first octet of an IP address so then we will know which class of IP address it is. I am taking only th three things. Why? Because of these are all unicast IP addresses. Okay. IP address in the IPv4 of course. IP address is divided into network portion and a host portion. Network portion and a host portion. One IP address divided into network and host portion. Depends upon what class you choose it. Network and host portion will is there. Okay. To understand, guys, this network and host portion part. Just uh, this is um, just for our understanding. I'm giving. Our roll numbers. One part I given one number. What batch here? 19th batch, right? So I've given a roll number to you. 19.
that travel chain 1902 19 uh, 03 19 uh, 06 maybe 19 um, uh, 0 uh, 7 19 11 19 12 lives. so what is this first two numbers represent i divide like this first two numbers uh, will be the represent uh, 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 batch number. Next two numbers represent uh, um, person number, right? So we take our attendance sheet. So look at here. Serial number is there. Instead of serial number, you put a roll number then. So 1901 is Abhishek, 1902 is Akram, 1903 is Akhil, 1904 is Aman, 1905 is Amit. Like that it will come, right? So it's like a, each person has a, a roll number here, right? And batch number, with batch number, I create a, a your roll number then means, this is how it is means. Just for example, I put like this. So what happens? This is entirely 19th batch, but this is not. Okay. This is not 19th. Some other batch person is there. Okay. Even when we are checking a result, I said it is uh, while in that uh, Google form only I given uh, batch number. Why batch number? To identify, like uh, to separate uh, 19 separately, 18 separately. Otherwise, I will get confused with the names or email ID kind of stuff, right? So that's uh, another point. So it is a IP address is is a kind of number. It is one part is network and host here with this example we can understand network is 19 host is individual person identity that's it is ip address is called uniquely identify a device in network it's not unique address it is a uniquely identify you can identify each individual device identify uniquely identify a device in the network okay each individual having a number and there is a common network number is also there okay like this this is the row number kind of stuff is in an example <coughs> i am given you can take uh, pin numbers pin numbers uh, postal numbers are there now so 5003 like that's postal numbers also unique to separate area wise, state wise, per state, the state or area like that, it will be separated. Okay, your college roll numbers. Okay. So this is not complex, right? So for example, I want to make it uh, more separate. In this, I have two batches. Yes, you do you understand this roll number, serial number? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have a, we are dealing with the two type of batches. One is Hyderabad batch, another one is a Noida batch. Hyderabad batch means <coughs> the, the primarily those people locates into uh, Chennai, Bangalore and uh, Noida batches are for a Noida uh, location purpose. So we separate, but later it depends upon the requirements it will be changes but training wise we are separating so i have a 19th batch hyderabad 19th batch noida is also there so now what i am doing is for noida batch i am adding one one id like it's like a, so hyderabad is 01 for example and noida is uh, uh, for zero uh, zero one is for noida I will put a uh, yeah, numbers. Okay, now one more space. These are all noida batches. So now it is different batch. It is not a noida batch. Not noida. How can I recognize? So I created like this. This is roll number. 
this is batch number and this is area like noida or hyderabad so this is 02 for hyderabad 01 for noida so now how many separations we have maybe we'll go to one more addition this year is 23 right 20 23 right 23 So now, where is the art man now? This is this is not twenty twenty three batch. Okay, so it is how a row number one person is identified in a separate separate year wise, uh, area wise, batch wise, and row number. But out of all, every person is identified with the A roll number, right? Like a like a serial number, but remaining people are all having common numbers. Okay, if you take these things, what is the common number? This is the common number. Is a common. Number. This is somewhat common number. Twenty-three. These are these two also belongs to same year. This two also belongs to same year. This is different year, and this is also same year, twenty three. But there is a difference. What it is? It is Noida, same Noida batch. But this is nineteen, and it is eighteen. Means there it is a separated. The same way, the same way, the IP addresses are planned to network and host. So same network, different network. Same network, different network. So that is also separated like that. So same way we can able to identify the devices. A A B B C C D D. So what is this? A represent year. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, area, batch, and row number like that. So which code you will put it? That much we can not not trick it. You understand that is enough. Okay. So we'll back to this guys. This is class A. Class A zero to one twenty seven. Of course, one to one twenty six in as per certain test. Okay, so one nine one twenty eight to one ninety one, one ninety two to two twenty three. Class A, the first host is network. Remaining are host. It means the number can be anything. Only first host must be same. That is. I will give you that note also. In class B, first two portions are network portion, remaining is host portion. Network, network, host portion. Okay, network, network, host portions. Of course, I will going to add some more details, but up to here. You take a class C IP address. The first three passes must be same by default. These are all by default. Understood. Uh, uh, These network and host portions are given default. Okay. Um, first of all, uh, here are the rules. Devices uh, want to communicate in a network. Their network portion must be same. 
if devices are want to connect means are want to communicate their network portion must be same host portion can be different host portion means that there is some more points in the host portion so that's i will try one uh, explain okay mainly network portion must be same devices are in same network means their network portion is same and communicate each other means the network portion is same one more added i will tell that one but same line devices are in same network Means a network ID is same. This is another statement. Both are same, but little differences are there. But these three statements you have to follow. Okay. So first of all, we identify what is network and what is host version. I have a one device, guys. PC one is there. Okay, I have sent one IP address to PC one. For example, one difference is enough in the host version. One difference is enough, not required to all host versions, not required to same. Depends on. One portion of host is enough. Okay. Which class of it is, guys? See the first octet. Class A. Which class of it is? Very good. It is a class A. Okay. Class A. Class A. That is per person. First octet is a network. Check their network portion same. Means PC one and PC two. Both will communicate each other. Both will communicate each other. Take PC three. Both are <laughs> look like the same. This is also same class. Check the class. Correct class only. But see, there is a mistake. It means this means. PC one, PC two can communicate each other, but not PC three. Okay, why it is happened? Sometimes by mistakes. Guys, remember sometimes by mistake people assign an IP address wrongly. So what to do? You have to change an IP address. If you are assigning an IP address manually, there is a possibility of entering IP address wrongly. So what you have to do? You have to compulsory PC one, PC two communicating. But PC three is not able to communicate PC one, PC two. So what to do? Check the PC three IP address, PC one, PC two IP address. Check their network portion. Check their host portion. And if need to change change it and try to communicate if it is successful good okay so understand the scenario so now if you address wise how to do it again same scenario so pc1 
again PC2, we'll take PC3, PC4 also. So 181. Oh, sorry, sir. Now, which which one it is? Class two. Class B. Very good. So it is a class B. All are class B. All are class B. Now all are one eighty one one eighty one. No differences. No problem. Class B network portion is first two. So you have to check it the first two only. Okay, and this is also same. This is also same. Okay, here 24, 24, but here it's 25. It is 25, 26, 37. And what happened to this? So 24. Okay, so of course, I will add one more. We also say as we identify this is the network functions. So which device will communicate each other? PC1 to PC2 and PC3 communication is there because it's a already I told it can be same or different. One difference is enough. Okay. For example, you take this one and put a 26, also no problem, because here is a difference is there, no problem. One difference is enough, or whole difference can be there. Okay, here also whole difference can be there. One difference or a whole difference, whole host portion can be different, or one host, one of the host portion can be different. Okay, so these three pieces can communicate each other because of their Network portion is same and the host portion has some differences. That's a good thing. And if you come to this one, this is 24. So here it is. We have to mark some color on it. Okay. So we can understand PC1, PC2, PC3 can communicate. Whereas PC4 having a problem and PC5 see PC5 where is the problem there it is a problem okay so cannot communicate so there is a problem with an IP addresses same goes for a class C type of IP address also. There are three things you have to uh, check it. One ninety two. Uh, you can take anything. No problem. So two hundred. One not two. One hundred. Eleven. PC two. Two hundred. One not two. 100 here uh, no choice compulsory class c it is a class c right how many network versions three network mm -hmm. versions these three network versions 
from here to here, same. PC1, PC2, same. For PC3, I have taken 200 dot, 102 dot, 11. For so if you look at this. These are all a network portion because it is a class C. And compare the network portions. Compare with the network portions. If you look at this network portion is good, but here it is. In this network portion, it is different. From here, it means it cannot communicate with the PC1 and PC2. In this octet, again, it is different from others. In the first octet itself, any one octet is different in the network portion, it is different network only. So, PC1, PC2 can communicate. PC3, PC4, 5. Okay, guys. Understand which device can able to communicate, how to check network and host portions? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. Very good, very good. Now, how can divide network and host portions? And uh, how it find Network ID and a star. So what it will do? It use subnet mask. When you are checking an IP address or when you are sending an IP address, there is a subnet mask. What is the purpose of subnet mask? Subnet mask divides address into network and post portions. We know direct calculation, but how system knows subnet mask and we have taken a default one, but subnet mask, default subnet mask and also we can change the network sizes, host sizes also by changing the subnet mask. Okay, okay. first one is it divides IP address into network and post portions. Subnet mask tells subnet mask tells network ID will tell network ID of a IP address. Again, same thing. This network and host portions by default, and uh, you can see this is the default subnet mask. Is a default subnet mask. So for class A, if you take class A IP address, the default subnet mask is 255.0.0.0. And if you take class B IP address 255.255.0.0, class C 255.255.255.0. These are the class C IP addresses. Okay. So these are the subnet mask for a different uh, uh, classes. Default means it can be changeable. It can be changeable. Okay, but how it is find uh, as how it is divided network and host portions. 
and how it will tell a network ID uh, that is based on a end operation. That is based on a end operation. So sub net mask uses end gate. It's a logical gate or gate end gate, not gate, nor gate, XOR gate, XNOR gate, NAND gate, are they no logical gates? So it uses a, it uses end gate kind of operation. Uses end gate operation. And gate means uh, just for uh, information on the guys, don't worry. Okay. There is A is input, B is input, Y is the output, A dot B is an expression. A is 0, B is 0, Y is 0. Okay, so any input is 0, then output is zero any input is zero output is zero that's that's simple. both are all inputs are ones output is one that is a kind of uh, end gate operation okay um uh, some more small small points I will add and uh, that's that's how uh, we will close that part. The point is in subnet mask binary ones represent Network zero represent post. Okay, yeah. if you don't get it, also no problem. It's not a big deal. Okay. So where is the network? And there is a two fifty five. You can see the default also. Okay, so 255 literally 255 is actually all our ones in binary. Hello. Zeros in a in a. Uh, represent all zeros okay so you can understand from here where is the network portion is there there it is 255 means all are ones okay where is uh, network portion is there uh, are there 255 where is post portion is there there is a zeros okay 8 bit each represent 8 bit So yeah, a network ID we can tell. Again, it will take a lot of time. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. That is actually um, good exercise also, but it will take a lot of time. So we'll go to some other information. And once I told that one, I will go to the subnetting concept also. Okay. So, so not subnetting concept, just what is subnetting? One line, maximum two lines. We don't go to that much depth. That's why, guys. Take one example: 192.168.11.0. Dot 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 uh, dot that is like this. You know, this is the an IP address starting of an IP address because it's a this three are a network means this is the host, but we cannot assign 
this to anyone. So this is called a, a network ID. So we cannot assign to any device. So your IP address start counting from here. Okay, this is called a first host ID or a IP address. So from here you can assign to device. Like next IP, I have a computer are there. I keep on giving one by one IP address like this. Okay, so 1.3, 1.4, 1.5 like this. Oh shit. And uh, I reach 1.254. So this is a last valid. This is also first valid host. Host ID or a IP address. We can able to assign to devices from here up to here. The last one is 192.168.1.255. Is a broadcast ID. The last one is called the broadcast ID. Also, we cannot assign. This is one network size, guys. This is one uh, network size. I need one more space. Not getting. No, I'm getting. Okay. If you continue, two dot zero. See this. Enter network is changed. Up to here, same network. Now it is another network. It is another network. It is not our network, right? This is my network size. Okay, guys, understand our total one single network size means. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Okay, because it's a class C, it is very easy. <laughs> if you take class B, these two portions part. Okay. Totally, it is started with a zero, ended with a 255. But out of that one, two IP addresses we cannot use. These two IP addresses we can't use. From here to here we can use it, but these two we cannot able to use it because this is a network ID and the other one is a broadcast ID. So totally we can use 254 IP addresses. In single class B, in a single, sorry, in a single class C, we can connect 254 up to 254 devices 254 IP addresses we are getting but how to calculate that one so we cannot write every time right so how to calculate see the number of host portions how many zeros um, one octet means eight bits so how many host portions eight so what is this blinking Already I given a break. Yeah, I will give you after this one small break. I will give you. So don't worry. Or we'll leave. Like this. This is 250 door process. Okay. So 2 to the power of 8. H means 1 octet. It is. Uh, 8 bit, so 1 octet means 8 bits, 2 to the power of 8, minus 2, y minus 2, 
because of these two things. 254, okay, 256 minus 254. Same it is, go for a, this, 16. How 16? Number of host portions are two here. Eight, eight, 16 minus two. It is 65,500, 534. 536 minus 2, 534. Yeah, you get a doubt, then please verify. <laughs> okay. So, how to verify? 2 to the power of uh, put a 16 and minus 2, you will get it. This is 2 to the power of 24. Why? Because of 3 H's are there, 3 host portions. So the first one is network, remaining are host portions. So three host portions, it is eight bits. Uh, so 24. Mm. So it's 16, triple seven, two, one, four. Okay, that is a calculation. So why I'm telling these details, guys? For example, you have a network, you are working in an organization and there is a 50 computers are there and you have to assign an IP address, or maybe you have to configure our DHCP server to assign an IP address. Okay, either you configure manually by going one by one, or you will configure a DHCP server and assign an IP address to each and every device to assign an IP address to everyone. So then what you will do, which is the best class? Which class is you feel better? Okay, class A or class B or class C. 50 computers only. Which you prefer, guys? Class C. Class, Class C. C. Why? Because we are getting 254. We want only 50. Yes. Sir. 200 only, we are not using. Very good. I have a 100 computers now. Still Class C. 200 computers. Still class C is for. Okay. 300 computers. Class B. Class B. Class B. You should go to class, class B. B. No choice, right? Okay. 500 computers. Class B. Class 5000 B. computers. Class B only. Class B. 50,000 computers. Class B. B. Class B. 70,000 computers. Yeah. Class A. Class A had to go, right? Mm -hmm. And it is yes. almost 16 million. If you cross more than 16 million, 16 million, triple seven, two ones, four devices you cross, then we can't do anything, <laughs> okay? So that many one network, generally we don't create it, okay? So what it is? But here is a question, normally, it's okay with the private network, but in a public, like I am an organization, I need a 50 public connections. I want only 50 public IP address. Class is okay, but how many are we are wasting? 204 IP addresses we are not using. I have 50 IP addresses. I need a 50 only, but 204 IP address I am not using. Okay, I have a, I need a only 300. Uh, IP addresses publicly. I need a 300 IP addresses or 400 IP addresses. Okay, then I have to go to class uh, B. So I need a 400 only, but I am getting 65,534 IP addresses. I am getting how many I am wasting? So many IP addresses we are not. Even you have to pay. Even you use or not, you have to pay for entire network. Okay. That is the last of a, a customer. Next one is you have to pay. That is also unnecessary money yet. And shortage of IP addresses. Forget about IPv6. You take only IPv4 part. It is a limited. Earlier days, very limited computers, limited network. Now it is mega network. Everybody having a mobile phones, two mobile phones, laptops, tablets, TVs. So many IP addresses we are need, required. Okay, like this. There are different organizations. Home users, it's a one part. 
different organizations also came in now so every organization need their their own public ip addresses then this subnetting concept came subnet concept is came into picture what is this subnetting it's divided one network into multiple subnets so one network into multiple subnets means i need only 50 public ip addresses so what is this uh, ian i can people will do it so what they will do so you need a 50 ip public ip addresses then we'll cut one ip address into uh, multiple parts i will give you uh, around of 50 ip addresses means at least 60 ip addresses or 62 ip addresses i will get it okay so like that they will cut uh, uh, the uh, low end uh, number of ip address. they will divide one network into multiple networks okay so when you divide a one network into multiple networks number of host will be reduced one network into multiple network so number of host will be reduced so that's the only one point what is the subnetting divide a one network into multiple subnets okay number of host subnet reduces Divide. So I will get a, around 50 IP addresses now. Around 300 IP addresses I will get it. Okay, like this is a subnetting concept. So I don't go to depth already. I told. Okay, if I go, then we will. You will. You will not confuse, but to clarify, I will try more time. And if I try more time, then of course uh, so it takes time because we have lot of topics to complete. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, one or two points I will tell, and I uh, will tell. Guys, this is called a slash notation. Represent subnet mask. Okay, it represent subnet mask. Okay. n means the smaller here it is n means number of ones in subnet number of ones in the subnet Number of ones in the subnet. So that is the point here. Slash notation. So this is called a CIDR method. So this is a CIDR method. Passless inter-domain routing. <laughs> okay. Later you can search it. I don't go as much details. Okay. So for example, you take two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero. Only one example. It represent. Okay. In binary, if you convert, how many zeros are there? No, yes. If you convert into binary, how many ones are there? Eight ones. So it represents slash eight. You take this one. How many ones are there? If you convert into binary, so two five five means eight ones. How many two five fives are there? Two. Sixteen. Three two five fives are there. Three into eight. Twenty four. So this is common by default, but I in subnetting. so you can change your subnet mask to divide your network so then also it will be different okay 
Now it is two two five fives are there. Okay, two two five fives are there. That is a sixteen. We can understand two forty. One 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 four ones four zeros. Sixteen plus four. Now what is one ninety two means? One one double zero. You try then it will understand. So twenty four plus two. Twenty six. Twenty six. Okay. So when you see this kind of IP addresses in any network, like I represent, I will write an IP address. Okay. So here I will write one IP address, guys. Um, look at here. So I'm writing uh, one IP address, one seventy two sixteen one dot twenty three slash sixteen. What is this meaning? IP address is one seventy two sixteen one dot twenty three is an IP address, and the subnet mask is this is the subnet mask. Uh, that's the default. Uh, I use 16, so it is very tight. But if I use a 17, 18, 19 means, then definitely you need a calculation for that one. Okay. So you can represent a, an IP address like this. Okay. This is also called as a prefix. Hash notation or prefix or CIDR method. Okay, this type of representation is prefix. The end represent number of ones in, in, in a subnet mask. End represent number of ones, not in subnet mask. A subnet mask. So this is one point, guys. When you see an IP address, and if is is the guy not only IP address, he's also telling an IP address, okay, in different pattern. So for example, our IP address sixteen one seventeen, okay, something like that. It is uh, no problem. Anything one nine. 17 for slash mm, four five six so six is good okay so I have to calculate me 22 so means IP address is this one only the network will be changes Okay, as compared to this, the network portion is this one. In this one, network portion is different. Okay, because subnet mask changes, host and network portion will be different. Okay, 20, 16 is gone, six ones are there. Six ones. What is this meaning of six ones? Uh, 240. 248 and uh, <laughs> unnecessarily attach this one. 248, 252. Okay, 254, 255. Correct. It is a 252. This is a representation of an IP address, and these two ways we can represent an IP address either by IP address subnet mask or IP address prefix. This is also very useful guys. So suddenly you have seen uh, somewhere written document or maybe in, a, in, a, in a, some system you have seen this kind of IP. Don't worry. Subnet mask can be changeable and if you change an IP subnet mask 
network and host portion is changed. Okay, which is not always the same. Uh, what are the point? Other points: submitting, CIDR method, subnet mask. Uh, what are the other things we have to discuss? The last uh, private IP, NAT pack, I will tell. So we'll close. Uh, OSA layer. When we will go through OSA layer. I'll give data guys. So just private IP addresses I will tell. List I will give. Then take a break. Then we'll. Um, all explanation about OSA layer I will give. Okay, private IP address ranges like this. Okay. So private IP addresses are non rotable in public. Means with private IP, you can't access internet. Hmm. Any public network. Okay, so here only 10 is constant, guys. Always 10 series. Okay, the 10 series represent. A private IP. If you see 10 series, it is private IP. When you see an IP address 170.16, okay, 16 to 31, anything 16, you have seen that is private IP. 170 to 17, that is also private IP. Okay, it keep goes 172. 31 it is also a private IP address okay 32 public IP address 32 public IP 15 public IP 11 means in this one 11 public IP 9 public IP here 192.168 dot so it start with 0 0 this entire series 192.168.0 after that one anything happened that is a private only so last two digits is compulsory it is a private so no no other choice okay no other choice because 0 to 255 means entire entire sequence is private okay but different networks guys this is different network so why i am writing like this so people, some people, when they write an IP, they will confuse. This is different network. Okay. It goes up to last. B8. It's totally 255. X. Also. What is this private IP? Ranges are given non rotable in public. Non rotable in public. So we cannot access internet with public IP address. With public IP address. Yeah, very good. Uh, how do you know which is a private IP, which is a public IP? So, guys, your if you check your IP address, you know how to check your IP address, right? When you're checking your IP address, like IP config command, or uh, directly can go to control panel kind of stuff. If you see your IP address. 
your IP address is 17216. My IP address is in here 17216. 17216. That IP address is private IP address. Okay. So your IP is in this range. Means you are in a private IP address. Your IP is standard series, private IP address. Your Yours is 170.16 or 17 or 18 up to 31. It's a private IP. Your series is 190.168. It's a private IP. Other than this one, you can say it is a public except one. Okay, except one. What is that one? So zero series, 127 series, 169.254 series or uh, accept those things plus this remaining are for public IP only. Okay. Okay, so you cannot access internet with public IP address. So we use at and fact technique. This is public network means internet. That means network address port address translation also called as NAT. Overload and things or anything. You know, uh, if I get a chance, I will explain how NAT and PAT works because it's already so much time. Take a break, guys. So after break, I will give you. Why should we postpone? That's why I'm thinking. And now, Paula. Yeah. That's it for today. OSA model I want to tell, but I need at least uh, one hour for that one. Okay. And net and pad techniques also good to hear, but you are learning about so many things about IP addresses. That is good for now. Okay. Tomorrow I will finish this OSA model and I will add some more uh, additional topic, okay? Study guys, compulsory daily read. Only that is I'm telling, okay? You will remember, otherwise you will forget. I have taken a certain topics, take more time because I keep reading, 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 so then only I can able to remember. People will learn very smart. Anything you want to say? Any doubts? Sir, before private, uh, I have one doubt. Tell me, tell me. If it is in private, before. how can we access, sir? Before private, sir. Scroll up, sir. This one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, slash 16 and slash 24. How can how did you get? Yeah, this is a subnet mask. OK, put the subnet mask into binary form. So this is subnet mask. No? So uh, 255 in a binary form, it is like this.
So how many ones are there? 16, sir. 16, same way. This also convert your uh, subnet mask into binary. So you will get to know how many ones are there. Same for this one and this one also. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Best example is, this is not default, right? This is class B, 255, 255. And this must be zero. It's not zero. Why? Because it's a sub subnet. Sir, which command we have to give uh, for it's checking the IP address? Yes. IP, I use IP config. You can use IP config. IP config. Okay, sir. IP config. All right. IP config. All right. Anyway, don't waste time. Just I will tell what is NAT and PAT and it will finish. OSA model again, we need a lot of interest in it. Don't <laughs> not a sleeping part. So how NAT works, how PAT works, kind of stuff. This is my local network, guys. This is my local network. So, so once this completed, I will we can take a day. Okay. So this is my local network. You have already seen this kind of stuff. We are already discussed these things. So only for that. I have a devices, A device, B device. I have one server, for example, it is a kind of web server. Uh, server A is there and C device. This is another server, server B. We can access from A to B kind of stuff, right? A to B we can access. A want to access the server, so A can able to access server A. A can able to access server B. Same way, the B can able to access these servers like this. Each one can able to communicate each other. So what we call in this one? Intranet. 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 Okay. Now, there is some guy outside of my, our network. is in internet. So, which topic you are uh, telling me about? No, no, continuation. Continuation. Not bad continuation. Not extra topic. Okay. okay. So, there is a some person who want to access your server. We are accessing google.com, facebook.com, youtube.com, right? So we are accessing their servers same way someone want to access your server. How can they can access? They can't access because you are in your own private. No public access, no connectivity. Okay, so no, no access. But of course, you are putting a server for a public access, so everyone can able to access it. How to get it? Of course, we need an ISP, right? You require a ISP, Internet Service Provider. provider. So you have to go through this um, ISP. So we need a modem and of course router connectivity, ISP connectivity is required. And this guy now want to access your server, he cannot access because he don't know what is your IP address. And you are in a private means you use a private IP only. So he cannot access you. So what to do? So one, one solution is assign a public IP address to the server. Assign public IP address to the servers. So people can able to access your server directly through internet. 
So I can access, you can access kind of stuff. So you can access through your public IP directly. Okay. Okay, sir. You can access with your public IP address. Okay. But no, so you think, no, no, no. I don't assign any public IP. So when I'm communicating outside of my network, when I'm communicating outside of my network, then only public IP works. Means this guy knows the public IP, but actually will assign different IP, a private IP. When communicating inside to outside, it will be this. Oh, 10, 5, 10 minutes. Okay, so concept is instead of assigning a public IP address to it, so I will try to assign a private IP. It contains a private IP, general local IP address. This is my LAN. Okay, all our private IP addresses. So what I will do, I will put a one list here. Okay, so inside uh, for a easy purpose, I will take 10 series. This is a server IP address inside a LAN, but when it is trying to communicate outside of my network, okay, so I will use some public IP, okay. So this guy knows this IP address, this guy knows this IP address. We'll try to communicate with this IP address. And request come up to here. The request will come up to here. ISP, ISP to here. Request come with this public IP. Now it is translate into private. Then request go to this server with this private IP address. So this technique called a NAT technique. Network address translation. It maps your local IP address to global IP address. So you are communicating outside with this IP address. You are communicating outside with this IP address. Okay. So others also communicating to you with this IP address only. But inside, inside you have a your own private IP. I have server B is there, no? for server B and uh, A, B, C, B, P, C, everything. For A, B, C, B, P, C, everything. Okay. So each PC need to access outside network or get to access from outside network, right? So both side communication is required. What I have done, I purchase certain public IP addresses for my devices. Each device internally they have private IP, but when they are accessing outside, public IP address only. Uh, just for example, guys, don't take seriously. Inside your home, you have a nickname, right? To call inside in your home, you will have a, your own nicknames in your home, right? Your mom, dad calls with the nicknames. But when you are going to office or college, you will call by your public original IP, or <laughs> public IP, sorry, public name, the name, actual name. Okay, so just for understanding, two things just for understanding inside and outside, okay? Uh, in home, you wear uh, whatever the dress you want to wear, okay? And outside, you are going, you dress decently, right? Just for understanding, two faces. Inside, private IP, you can communicate within the network with your private IP. But when you want to communicate outside of the network, you need a public IP, okay? So, to manage this one, we use a technique called a Network address translation. Network address translation. 
what it will do it maps inside means here private IP addresses outside means public IP devices can communicate in private in private IP and they communicate outside of network means to communicate to public use How it is NAT? Okay, how it is happen NAT? I have a PC one. PC one IP address is like this, and for public IP, I have taken oh, it is went to another line, not a line, another page. Okay. So it is like a one private, one public type. Means we have a ten private. How many publics you are required? Ten public IP address required. Just understand that. What happened? Last guys. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So but problem is in your in our home or in our office you have several devices right you have a mobile phone you have a laptop you have a desktop your tablet so even mobile phones are so so many one person to two mobile phones okay so you have a several uh, uh, i private uh, ip address requirement is there that is good no problem but you have to buy so many public IP addresses. You have to buy so many public IP addresses. Okay. You have to buy so many. Like a, you have 10 devices here. It means you need a 10 IP addresses. That is difficult. You have to pay for lot, right? So what we are using? We are using PAT technique, also called as NAT overload. What it will do? It maps. Actually, say all. Wait. IP addresses to one public, one or two public IP addresses. Okay. Same thing. I'm taking same list, but it is little different. Private IP addresses are same. But our public is, I have taken only, for example, language. public 
false. Public IP is same. So here it is. I put a some port number. It's a port mapping. So port address must be matches inside and outside. We will do the map to a single. Public IP, but individual port mapping. So, like this, you are sending a request from here. It go with this request with this port number outside. When you are receiving, you'll receive like this, and you'll receive this one. Okay, this is PAT technique port address translation. So, see, time for private. Okay. okay, guys, understand what is the use of NAT and PAT? Yes, sir. Enough for today. So, tomorrow we will see voice layer and anything will start. Okay, that's it for today.